Ladies and gentlemen, friends, friends of uh, British Gibraltar, welcome to the now traditional Gibraltar reception at the Conservative Party conference, which we have, as you know, every year. Believe me, I say that the enthusiasm of your presence here always resonates back to the rock itself. It really has taken too long since we had a normal year in which to gather and celebrate our long ties of friendship. Now, you may think you have a tough year ahead with a general election, preparing for a general election. I have only a couple of weeks. <laughs> Gibraltar goes to the polls on the 12th of October. I'm not looking for your votes, but I know that the people of Gibraltar can always rely on your support. Yeah. The Chief Minister, I know, would have loved to have been here. Fabian loves and enjoys the buzz of this conference and catching up with all of you. And we have great challenges ahead to secure the way forward for Gibraltar in a new, a new life outside the European Union. We were very close to an agreement on a Gibraltar Treaty. We now await the outcome of the Spanish electoral process to determine what path that future relationship will take. The people of Gibraltar thank you for your solidarity and for your support. We know that hand in hand with the United Kingdom, we will carve out our destiny together. For 300 years, that rock at the entrance of the Mediterranean has seen off sieges of all kinds. For two world wars and countless conflicts, we have stood together. And we always will. Finding a way to secure Gibraltar's future is in our very DNA. But recently, it has been my grim task also to work on planning for a worst case scenario. That would be no treaty with the European Union. A scenario where Spain perhaps becomes difficult and presses its sovereignty claim. But rest assured, we will never give in to that. Yeah. But no agreement would mean no fluidity of access for goods and people coming in through the land border with Spain. The daily support that we need to keep our economy alive. But as I said, we need to wait and see who, form governments, who forms government in Spain later this month. But whatever happens, we know that with your strong support and the tireless backing of the British people, we will prevail. Let me say that Fabian and I are both very optimistic about the future. Our objective remains to secure a UK-EU agreement about Gibraltar that does not surrender one iota of our British sovereignty. Yeah. Gibraltar belongs only to its people and to our King. I am grateful that so many of you often holiday in Gibraltar, yeah. that we share our lives as one British community that we are as much of a part of the UK family as the Isle of Wight, or indeed Manchester. Yeah. Gibraltar knows that we can count on you. And you know that you can count on us. Yeah. The support of the Prime Minister and of our good friend, the Foreign Secretary, James Cleverly, and also our, our Europe Minister, Leo Doherty, has been invaluable to us in this process. Leo and I indeed have spent many hours online and in person planning for no deal to make sure Gibraltar is fully resilient. So now it gives me great pleasure to call upon James Cleverly, our Foreign Secretary, to say a few words. Thank you, James, for coming and thank you for being here.